What if I tell you that you can install IPF files on your iPhone or iPad without jailbreak, with better stability? Today, I'll show you the new SideStore method, one of the best IPA installers for iOS right now. This works on iPhone and iPad, supports the latest iOS versions, and is perfect for sideloading apps safely. All right, let's get started. First things first, you need a computer one time only to install SideStore. In this new SideStore guide, we're using iLoader. iLoader is a new SideStore installer for Windows and Mac that doesn't require generating a pairing file. This makes SideStore much easier to install compared to older methods. First, download and install iLoader on your computer. You can find the download link in the video description. You can use Windows or Mac version. If you're using Windows, you also need the Apple Devices app. Open Microsoft Store. Search for Apple Devices and download and install it. This app allows your computer to properly detect your iPhone or iPad. If you are a Mac user, you can skip this step. Once Apple Devices is installed, open it and connect your iPhone or iPad. Next, open iLoader on your computer. iLoader will automatically detect your device. Next, to install SideStore, you must sign in with your Apple ID. This applet is used only for signing the SideStore app, just like other sideloading tools. If you have two-factor authentication enabled, Apple will send a verification code to your device and insert it. After logging in successfully, go to the Installer section inside iLoader. Here, you'll see several installation options. Make sure to select the SideStore method. I highly recommend choosing Live Container Plus SideStore Stable Version. It allows you to install more than the normal three app limit. Now, click Install and wait patiently while I loader install SideStore and Live Container. Once done, you'll see Live Container installed on your home screen. Before opening Live Container, you must verify the app first. On your iPhone or iPad, go to Settings, hit General, VPN and Device Management. Tap on it and trust. After trusting the app, you may see a message saying Enable Developer Mode. This is completely normal, especially if you've never used SideStore before. Go to Settings, hit Privacy and Security, and tap Developer Mode. Then turn on Developer Mode. Then you can now open Live Container app. Next, we need to set up SideStore properly before using Live Container. Tap the SideStore icon in the top left corner. You'll be redirected automatically to the SideStore app. This step is required to link SideStore with Live Container. Before using SideStore plus Live Container, you need to log in with your Apple ID. This is necessary to obtain a developer certificate used for signing apps. Now, tap Settings in SideStore, then log in with your Apple ID. Complete the 2FA verification if prompted. Once logged in, SideStore will prepare the signing certificate. After logging in successfully, close the SideStore app completely. Then open Live Container again. Inside Live Container, tap Settings. Select Import Certificate from SideStore. Once the certificate is imported successfully, Live Container is now fully linked with SideStore. You can import and run IPA files. And most importantly, without the three app limit. Your setup is now complete and ready to use. As you may already know, an Apple developer certificate is only valid for seven days. That means your apps need to be refreshed regularly to keep them working. The good news is, you can refresh it easily using an app called Local Dev VPN. First, open the App Store. Search for Local Dev VPN. Download and install the app. Once installed, open Local Dev VPN Tap Connect. Allow VPN configuration if prompted. When connected, your device will create a local developer connection, which SideStore needs to refresh apps. Now, keep Local Dev and connected, then open SideStore. Find Live Container in the app list, tap Refresh. 
Once the refresh is finished, Live Container is now renewed. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.